What is up, everyone? Um, today, we are going to be talking about Pokemon NFTs. Now, I'm not saying these things exist. I don't even think they exist, but I want to talk about it. Um, you guys know how, how these Pokemon cards, they're just an absolute craze is, is nuts right now. You can get cards for ten, twenty, fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. Uh, you know, the, obviously, the famous Charizard card is worth $350,000, if not more. Uh, you could get a Ferrari for that, or you buy this card. You know, it's up to you. What do you want to own? A Ferrari, this card, a house, whatever, man. Uh, but you know what? That's besides the point. That's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I want to talk about how if Pokemon NFTs were made, how much of a gold mine that would be, all right? Now, I came across this graphic. I don't know if somebody made this, if this is like a fan-made thing, if this is like something they're talking about in the future. I have no idea, uh, but I want to show you guys. I want you guys to see this because they look phenomenal. Now, here is something. If Pokemon came out with NFTs, to me, that is something that has so much longevity to it, all right? Uh, I grew up uh, in the Pokemon era. You know, my kids now are at an age where they're loving Pokemon, which is great because, you know, um, I, that's the thing I'm knowledgeable about. So I could sit down and rewatch these episodes with them and kind of get to know all this stuff again, uh, you know, and I can, I can answer their questions. They, they like Pokemon. They ask me questions. I have the answers. This thing I, I, I watched years ago. Um, the best part about Pokemon is I don't think it'll ever go anywhere because they're very smart with their business plan, okay? So they uh, targeted us at my, when they came out. You know, when they came out, it was my generation. Uh, when they first first came out 20 whatever years ago um, and they still keep that momentum so here's how it works right 20 years later you know um, they have Pokemon Go and all that stuff now so they keep being relevant okay um, so you know we go we, we're at an age where we enjoyed the show we loved the show we grew up uh, they come with Pokemon Go brings everyone back to their childhood now everyone's loving it there's hype all this stuff we have kids now. Our kids are loving Pokemon. We're bonding with our kids over this stuff. My kids are playing Pokemon. I'm playing Pokemon. Whatever it is, they're very smart. Now, in 20 years from now, my kids will be showing their kids Pokemon. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't see Pokemon going anywhere. Anyway, before we get off track here, NFTs. Pokemon NFTs. I think this is a gold mine. Uh, again, I'm not giving any legal advice here. I have no idea you know, if they're even in existence, if there's even a thought about them being made. But... Um, I will tell you right now, if they do come out with Pokemon NFTs, that's something I definitely want to get in on the ground floor simply because um, just the popularity. And you you see how they're going with the cards these days. The cards are just so popular. People are, are buying them up, eating them up, spending ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars uh, on these cards. And, um, you know, why not uh, switch it over to NFTs and, and keep that momentum going? Again, I don't know if there's any talks in the work. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Maybe these are just not even an option. But I want to show you this video real quick. Uh, so check this out. This is either a fan made or maybe something that they're working on. I have no idea. I don't have the answer to that. But check how beautiful these cards would be as NFTs. Here we go. So, so that there, look how beautiful those were. Look how beautiful those were, okay? That's something, again, if that was someone that made these, phenomenal job. If that's something that they're planning on doing, Pokemon's planning on doing, amazing. I would love to get into those. Uh, NFTs, here's the thing about NFTs, okay? They're very new. They're very new. There's a lot of hype around them right now, okay? But nobody knows where this is going to go. Is the hype going to drop? Is, is the fad going to drop? Or is this the beginning and this is something that's going to climb? Again, nobody knows. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. We can't predict the future. But I think it's a really neat concept. Now, if you guys are going, what's an NFT? It's a non-fungible token. Okay? So basically, it's like digital art. It's digital art. So people are going to say, well, why are you going to buy this? You know, you just showed me this beautiful Charizard card, whatever, NFT, whatever. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Cool. I could just download that. I own it. No, you don't. Here's the thing. No, you don't. That's an NFT. The NFTs is digital art, but it's just like the Mona Lisa. You could go to the store right now and go to Walmart or Target or wherever, and you could buy a Mona Lisa poster for 10 bucks, okay? You don't own the Mona Lisa. You own a poster of the Mona Lisa. You don't own it, right? It's a one of one. The Mona Lisa is a one of one. There's only one of those. You can either spend millions of dollars to own the real thing, 
or ten dollars and buy a knockoff. There's a big difference, right? So that's the same thing with these. Okay, yeah, you could download that photo or that video for sure. You could take a screenshot of it for sure, but you don't own it. It's not the real thing. So that's how people got to look at this. Okay, I think people look at it the wrong way. They say, oh, "I can just download it and I own it." Well, of course, I could walk up to the Mona Lisa, take a picture of it. It's on my camera. I don't own it right so it just depends because there's collectors there's collectors for everything so that's what this is about and i love it I, I i love it i think it's a very cool idea i know nba top shots is into it um i tried to get into q on that the other day that was awesome um you know ufc i believe wants to get into it in, in, in the nfl and, and there's just it's a lot of companies are starting to see the potential in this and they want to take off with it and i really hope pokemon goes this route whoever made those cards i don't know again i don't know if it's legit or if it's a fan-made thing that is phenomenal. That's a phenomenal idea. And I, I think that's, uh, if they go that route, amazing. Amazing. Uh, anyways, guys, I want to talk to you. I want to ask you guys, are you guys planning on getting NFTs? Uh, do you guys have those Charizard, those old school Charizard cards that are worth, you know, $350,000? Do you have those old Pokemon cards? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, do you collect Pokemon cards? Did you collect Pokemon cards? Do you still have your, your set? If you do, dig it up. Start looking at those cards. You might be sitting on a fortune and you don't even know. They're sitting in a box somewhere collecting dust, maybe getting water damage. Pull that out, man. Get those cards. Take a look at them. You can get them appraised. Uh, you can get the PSA grading, all that stuff, man. They're going to give you the, the value on it. Take a look. Um, if Pokemon made NFTs, is that something you'd want to get into? Let me know in the comments below. I want to get to know you guys do. I do I do uh, stream every day on a site called Twitch. Uh, you go to twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. You'll find me there. Hit that follow button and uh, come join the conversation. Also, guys, don't forget to smash that sub button, that like button right here on, on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, I will be making more videos. I do make a lot of different kind of videos. I make gaming videos and Big Brother videos. I was on a show called Big Brother. Uh, and I do, uh, you know, just clips and, and just random stuff. So I do want to get into NFTs a little bit. I'm really, really interested in this stuff. So uh, I am new to it myself. I'm on the, you know, I believe this is the ground floor. I believe there's a lot of room for this um, industry to grow, NFTs to grow. Again, don't take my advice for it. I'm just some amateur looking in from the outside, but I do want to get into it a little bit. So uh, let's have that conversation. I just want to have that conversation. So let me know, are you into NFTs? Is there any that you're looking at that you're, you're kind of eyeing that you know that are coming out or some that you have right now? Do you make NFTs? Let me know in the comments below. I want to check out your work. I want to check out what you do. I want to check out your profiles. I want to check out all that stuff, the portfolios. Let me know. All right, guys. I am out of here. You will be seeing me soon. I will be making more NFT videos. I will be making more, um, you know, uh, content uh, videos for my Twitch channel that I just told you guys about. Some Big Brother videos. There's a lot of stuff. I I'm kind of into a lot of things. I will be making more NFT videos. Stick around. Get to know us a little bit. I'm out of here. We'll chat soon. Peace.